when, when I finally, you know how we struggle for years to try to get to whatever the, we think is the big time. I realized later on in my career there is no big time. It's just all show business. We're all in show business. And what we know as comedians more than anybody, there is no funniest or funnier, and there never was. You know, there's only one rule in comedy, be funny. That's the only rule that we have. But when I finally made it to Caesar's Palace with Sammy Davis Jr., after my first Tonight Show, my whole life changed. And Sammy Davis Jr. took me on the road. Being in that limousine, driving down the strip of Las Vegas, where I always dreamed I'd go, to see your name on the marquee with Sammy Davis Jr., most big acts wouldn't let the opening act have their name on the marquee. Tom Jones and Diana Ross, when they put their name up there, there wasn't room to park your car in a parking lot, you know. Sammy Davis insisted that I have my name on the marquee. He said, well, set a precedent, Tommy, that when you get your name on the marquee, then any act you work with afterward, they have to give you the same kind of billing. He was a very, very generous guy who never forgot it, were the, the dues he paid in show business. But after that first night of appearing in Las Vegas with Sammy, I went into my dressing room and I wrote this down. As far back as I can remember, or shortly thereafter, I love to hear the sound of laughter. Whether grown-ups or children, it really didn't matter to me. If I could make people laugh, I was as happy as I could be. You see, when you make people laugh, they get such a lift. My mom once told me, this is a God-given gift. She said, because you'll get so much love, and yet you're still able to give. I knew that I wanted to do this for as long as I live. So I left my home in Harvey, Illinois, to tour around the country and spread some joy. Success was ahead, I just didn't know how far. Soon I was broke and sleeping in a car. I worked and I prayed and I planned and I dreamed. There were times I was alone, or, or so it seemed. And I begged for jobs everywhere I could, and I bombed a lot of times. But I started getting good. They laughed in Boston one night, I'm proud to say, and soon they were even laughing out in L.A. Now, if you're a comedian and you want America to know, you had to get a spot on the Johnny Carson show. Well, that happened one night, and what a break for me. Soon my name was on Caesar's Palace marquee. Well, God's been with me now, and I've gone pretty far. Who knows, maybe one day I'll become a big star. But if I don't, it won't matter at all. Believe me when I tell you I've had a ball. So now I wish for everyone what's happened to me, to find the work that you love, because that's really the key. So when I die and go to the hereafter, I'll miss all of you, my friends, but most of all, I'll miss the sound of your laughter.